Consider, if you will, the path of a raindrop down a window. As you watch the rain falling, you notice a specific raindrop land on a specific point on the window. What path will that raindrop take to the bottom of the window? Will it go left? Will it go right? Will it go straight down? Or is it on a random walk? As we discussed probability in our last set of lectures, I explained that probability gives us actionable information to help us make decisions in the face of uncertainty. And in a similar way, as we can do scientific experiments, we can also do statistical experiments to explore randomness and probability. In a science experiment, we measure stuff. In a statistical experiment, we compute probability. Science experiments yield replicable outcomes. Every time we put the Mentos into the Diet Coke, we get exactly the same reaction. That result is replicable. But in a statistical experiment, the outcomes are random. The path of the raindrop down the window is a random outcome. If we had perfect knowledge, awareness of all of the variables at play, a perfect measurement of surface tension, then maybe we could perfectly predict the path of any given raindrop down that pane of glass. But lacking that level of knowledge, we are stuck in the real world, and the real world is full of randomness. The fact that we cannot reliably predict the path of that raindrop down the window, the outcome of a specific flip of a coin or of a roll of the dice, that means the outcome is random. The random outcome of a statistical experiment is called a random variable. And random variables always take on numeric values. The random variable itself will be denoted by a capital X. And all of the potential outcomes will be denoted as a lowercase x. There are two types of random variables that we're going to explore in this class. The first is discrete random variables. Discrete random variables can take on only integer or whole number amounts. They can only have a whole number as an answer. Whereas continuous random variables can take on values within a range. This week, we're going to focus on discrete random variables. And next week, we'll turn our attention to continuous random variables.